Hey guys, so as I was walking back from Dollar General, this was about an hour ago, I saw a snake. A snake. Don't ask me what kind, it was dark, so I don't know. It looked like it was either maybe a copperhead, which, I mean, it was a youngin, so it didn't, uh, I walked by it, it didn't seem too intimidated or anything. Um, or it was just a simple garter snake. But I was walking and I heard rustling and normally I think it's just the lizards because there's a lot of lizards that live inside the, that rock, you know, that long rock formation, um, you know, in between and everything. So usually I'll see lizards crawling around that, but nope, nope, it was a fucking snake. It was a fucking snake. So I tried to take, tried to take out my phone to shine it on there and, and the battery is low, so it's, I couldn't see shit, but like I said, I, I don't know. I mean, I may have saw the, that certain pattern for the copperhead, but because it was so small, um, I think it was just a simple, it was like maybe like a foot and some odd inches. I mean, it was a tiny thing. I mean, it was about this long. I mean, people say, well, that's not tiny, but well, for me, that's tiny. And it finally started raining. Um, but yeah, guy yeah, walked by it and it just, just into the grass. Now, had it tried to attack me, it would have had to try to bite through this. Because like I said, if it was going to bite, it would just go and it's not going through that. So, um, especially if it was just a garter steak there completely harmless uh you know a lot of people who have garter snakes in their you know yard sometimes they capture and keep them as pets because they you know they really are good pets i can't understand people who try to kill snakes they're so misunderstood i mean they're more afraid of you than they are you know you are of them i mean they're just trying to defend themselves it's not like snakes are going out looking specifically for people to bite and obviously this one didn't feel threatened because if it did, it would have turned and tried to bite me. It would have, you know, you know, gotten up like it normally would. And, but no, it just kept slithering. And I knew snakes were around here because I've seen a few dead, uh, a few dead snakes, actually. I think there was right down there. And then I would see them on the uh, road. So I know snakes are around here. <laughs> um, that's the first one I've seen a living snake around here um but yeah they're so misunderstood i love snakes um you know when they're fed and everything they're just they're giant you know legless dogs you know they'll on you and you know some of them people get worried it's like oh they're wrapping around they're just trying to stay warm they're not constricting or anything they're just keeping warm you got to remember they're cold-blooded so our body gives off heat so naturally if you have like a snake it's gonna wrap around you if it's looking for warmth if it's outside of its you know if you have one as a pet it's outside of its uh container uh it's gonna look for warmth so you're warm so if you see someone with a snake wrapped around them don't be really worried but like i said yeah misunderstood creatures it's pretty sad though. I mean, they're great for, you know, keeping mice and stuff like that at bay, you know, getting those numbers down. So they do a lot of good for the ecosystem around here because we've got a lot of field mice and everything and they'll get up. The, the, you know, if they, you don't stop them, they'll like get up in the roof and just nuisance. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't have a problem with mice. Like, on the rare occasion that one gets inside the house, most of the time it ends up in the bathroom, and most of the time the cats end up playing with it, not killing it or eating it. And I'll just go in there, pick it up, I'm like, come on, little one. I put it outside, I say, don't come back in the house. And it scurries off. You're like, John, you pick it up with by the, you know, you pick it up, yeah, why not? I'm an animal person, <laughs> you know, but I just, you know, I try to catch it in the corner and I snatch it up and it's just like, 
it just sits there swinging back and forth. I'll just, you know, take it outside. I said, I'll put it on the ground. I'm like, don't come back in the house. Although one year it was the same mouse. And it came in the house like one day after the other. And it just, it kept going into the bathroom. It was so cute though. All I heard was squeak, squeak, squeak. I'm like, are you kidding me? When I go in there, it's the same fucking mouse. I said, how many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? <laughs> no, but then I put it back outside and I put it a little further uh, the second time because the first time I just went out to the patio and I just put it on the ground. But then the second time I made more an attempt. So, um, but yeah, we've got a bunch of field mice from over there. And, but having snakes around and stuff like that, it's like the spiders outside. If they're outside the window, I really don't worry too much because they don't, the, the, when they're outside like that and they're in the windows, they don't usually try coming in. Uh, they're normally the spiders that just build their webs. They stay in the window, you know, on the outside. That's that. They don't bother coming in. They've got everything they need right there. But, um... In fact, I think there's an egg sack right there on my window. I'm gonna have to get rid of that, because, uh... I don't need a bunch of spiders crawling around. Especially with the windows open and small enough to get through. Yeah, I don't need that, so... I'll probably go out tomorrow and get... Take care of it. Um... Yeah, I love snakes. <laughs> no, I'm, like I said, I'm just an animal person. You know, I've been, you know, pretty much taught from a young age to kind of respect all creatures, you know, no matter how small they are or how vicious they people say they are. Um, we went for a field trip or in school, we went to this, like, I can't remember what it was, but it had snakes and, and other reptiles. We got to hold them. And, you know, we got to see what it was like with a, a snake skin after it sheds. We got to kind of feel that and see what that was like. But we all got to hold this, this tiny little snake. It was, it was sweet. Um, so, yeah, people are just afraid of snakes for really no reason. I mean, yeah, they're dangerous, and some of them can kill you, but unless you're some fucking idiot trying to provoke it, most of the time it just goes about its business. Like I said, that the thing could have bit me if it wanted to. I mean, it was right there. But it didn't. Either just wanted to get away, or it saw that I posed no threat. So... Yeah, there's a lot of animals. There's we've got skunks around here, we've got possums around here, we got snakes around here, we got mice around here, we got deer around here. Uh, we've got a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Um, now, uh, what else do we have? We have like got like either vultures or condors or, or something around here. You know, that goes picking everything. Um, yeah, we got a lot of animals around just in this area. Now you've got the lake with all the fish in there, and, although it's mainly catfish, so. But yeah, I saw a live snake today, and it wasn't the one in my pants. I'll just see myself out. I'm kidding. I have a tiny wiener, guys. It's not a snake. Um, yeah, I just thought it was interesting because I haven't seen a live snake in 87 years. When was the last time I saw a live snake? Uh, I think I saw one in Texas when I was living there. Maybe? No, maybe. I don't remember. I don't remember. But I saw one today. I wanted to take my bag. It's like, oof, oof. No, I wouldn't do that. I mean, even if the thing was in the house, I probably, you know, I wouldn't kill it. I'd trap it and take it outside. 
but John, you shouldn't do that. That's dangerous. You don't know me very well. I got enough large containers in this house to catch it. So. Ah, oh, the rain. Let the rain fall down. Sorry, you can't hear it, though. I thought it was supposed to rain earlier today, but... Hmm. Nope. It was all fucking hot today, and... But, um... Yeah, so I just wanted to tell you I saw a snake today. A live snake, and I was like, Crikey! It's a snake! Now I'm gonna try to pick the snake up by his hand with my own bare hands. And then when it bites me, I'm going to be all shocked and confused. Like, crikey, I didn't see that coming. You fuck with... <laughs> it's like the Black Mamba. And then it tries to go after him. Like, crikey, I didn't know he would do that. I never saw that coming. It's like, dude, you know it's one of the most vicious snakes in the world. And you're picking it up by its tail. What do you think it's going to do? Crikey, that little bugger tried to bite me. <laughs> oh, you little butte there. Yeah, you little butte tried to bite me, eh? Ah, <laughs> uh, Steve Irwin. Anyways. Yeah, so that's going to do it for me. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.